they seem to not be able to win them here in 2023. But the Kansas City Chiefs get the job done. Chiefs are four and one. The only four and one teams in the NFL right now, Kansas City, Miami, and the first place Detroit Lions at four and one with victories in the early window today. Philadelphia advances to five and zero, oh, a place where uh, San Francisco can join them later tonight if they beat Dallas on Sunday night football. All right, time now to show you the top five plays of the day here on week five of NFL Red Zone. Plays right there, but you know us. We, we love to show you more football. How about a bonus play? Brees Hall, the speedster on this very field last year is when he suffered his terrible knee injury, but he comes back with a vengeance, breaks off a 72-yard touchdown run, and he is on fire in recent weeks. Brees Hall with a seven point, what's yards per carry? Seven point two yards per carry among the league leaders depending on how you qualify how many rushes you need to qualify for that but a bonus play right there for the victorious new york jets who have just put the finishing touches on their win over the denver broncos and here is the final play of the game in the 31 21 final yeah, we were watching those handshakes right there because we tried to document that for you earlier today. And many of you who follow the NFL year round know the uh, the drama or the uh, friction between Sean Payton, the head coach of the, of the uh, Denver Broncos, and last year's Denver Broncos head coach, Nathaniel Hackett, now the offensive coordinator for the New York Jets. Sean Payton quoted during preseason as saying he thought last year's coaching job of the Denver Broncos was one of the worst coaching jobs he's ever seen in the NFL. A direct shot at Nathaniel Hackett, who now just beat him as the New York Jets uh, assistant coach there with uh, as the offensive coordinator. It did not seem like those two gentlemen met uh, in the middle of the field for a handshake afterwards. Robert Sala, for his part, said, that's behind us. It felt like it was 15 years ago that Sean Payton said that. Sean Payton said that he felt he had covered up uh, his regrets for saying those comments as well. But good for the New York Jets. How about this one? Early window, we had six games. Only one road team won in the early window. That was the New Orleans Saints winning at New England. Late window, we had four games. All four road teams won those games. Eagles, Jets, Chiefs, and the Cincinnati Bengals getting it done on the road. Victory Plain coming home uh, to their hometowns should be pretty fun on, on the uh, ride back. All right, we're just about ready to run the touchdown montage, but after we're done with that, flip over to NFL Network. NFL Game Day highlights currently live on NFL Right Now, NFL Network Right Now, NFL Game Day Final will wrap things up tonight after Sunday Night Football, the Cowboys at the 49ers. Want to let you know that week six begins on Prime Video. You've got Thursday night football, the Kansas City Chiefs back at home at Arrowhead, taking on the Denver Broncos, an AFC West matchup kicking off at 8.15 Eastern time on Prime Video. Also, we have one more UK international game to show you, and you'll see this game a week from this morning on NFL Network and on NFL Plus. The Baltimore Ravens roll into town, kind of sore from today's last-minute loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers against the Tennessee Titans, live from the UK, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. It's the last of the London games. We have two more international games that will come to you live from Germany later on here in the regular season. But join NFL Network and NFL Plus a week from today for Ravens and Titans. Total touchdowns. 46 today, kind of a light scoring day. Granted, we only had 10 total games to show you in the late and early windows combined. 46, including four on defense and special teams. Want to let you know again, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app for the latest NFL odds and to check out the red zone total touchdown market. Fun day, ladies and gentlemen, fun day. Again, for those of you who are, had your team on the bye week this week, hope you hung up with us for all seven hours here on NFL Red Zone. For all the hardworking men and women here in the studio and in the control room, for our producers, Alan Flowers, Brian Nettles, McEnroe Francis, our director, Dustin Stern, I'm Scott Hansen saying thank you so much for watching. We leave you as we always do with one more look at every touchdown from every game presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Good night, and we'll see you next week. Second.
second and goal, two yard line. Talk about Lola rolling to his left, throws, end zone! 